Hello. How did you feel when you lost the Oscar? In in a in a in a word in a sentence without a four-letter word. <laughs> Um, I, I felt pretty, I felt, can I, to be quite honest with you, I felt just blank. I, I was numb. Because it was a long show, you know, it was, it kept getting longer and longer and longer. By the time Sally Field got up to get her award, I didn't even know where I was, you know. But it set in about three hours later. I was, I was disappointed, but you know, I figured, I thought she deserved it, you know. She's worked a long time and she was terrific in that film. Did you, uh, given the press and the speculation and the tradition and the politics of Hollywood, did you expect it? Only for about... 10 minutes one day. <laughs> I, I got my, my courage up. I believed that I would win for about 10 minutes, and then I knew I wouldn't. When I saw you and Barbara Walters, you only rated yourself in the 50s. I think you underrated yourself. Oh, You're at least 90. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, how congratulations. How wonderful. I would like to know how your parents brought you up to be independent and opinionated, if you remember, since they have children of my own. Uh, well, how did they do that? Well, we argued constantly. <laughs> you, you, always had to, you always had to express an opinion. We always fought around the dinner table. We ate and fought. And you always had to express an opinion, you know, about uh, uh, current events or, or what had gone on during the day. And uh, they actually preferred it if you didn't agree with them, you know? They wa wanted, you, wanted you to see all sides of the question and make up your mind. You're the third child? I'm the third girl, yeah. Two older sisters? Two older sisters, one younger brother. You're the baby sister? I am. <laughs> I don't understand how you, how you went from wanting to be this theatrical uh, monument to Bette Midler uh, by seeing Janis Joplin. In other words, when you saw Janis Joplin work, how did you know you could do that? Uh... I just knew it. I mean, did it was you just do it an at parties, instinct. Or, I mean, did you... No, no. I had, I had always sung and I had always uh, carried on and I was always a, a pretty silly. You mean in, in socially? Yes, yeah, socially. And I and in school I was a, um, I was very active in uh, in uh, speech festivals and very active in dramatic festivals. But but what she did was to let go of a whole group of emotions that I had never seen expressed on the stage before. And I knew that I felt them. I knew that I had felt them in my life. And I myself have had, had great fits of emotional uh, outbreak, you know, uh, uh, great anger, great feelings of anger, great feelings of rage, great feelings of, 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 of loneliness. I mean, but all heightened and all exaggerated. But I had never seen anybody do that on the stage. I mean, I had done it in, my, in life, you know, with fighting with a, with, a, uh, with a lover or begging him to come back, you know, or something like that. And it's always very big when I'm w in my life. I mean, it's, everything is grand. Nothing's very small and quiet. Yeah. And so when I saw her do it, I just, I identified with it. And I realized that she had taken what was an everyday occurrence for her, an, every, an everyday way of relating to people, and had put it to music, yeah. had set these emotions to music. Now that you're so much a hit, uh, and have been for But you time. know, that doesn't last. I well, okay, but you seem to kind of be defensive about even that description. Does that bother you to be defensive? Well, I'm having a good year. You know, I'm on a run. Yeah. But, you know, but it doesn't last. You really feel that? Oh, right? yeah. I've been at it a long time. You know? This is a good, this is a good, yeah. this is a lot of fun. This year has been a lot of fun, but I've had, you know, seven How much, or eight uh, years where it was a real drag. Well, tell me about it. I know. So, uh, uh, tell me about the cart <laughs> story again. Uh, don't, doesn't, uh, is there any neurosis in your motivation? Are you worried, oh my God, I've got to keep this ball in the air, let's not stop now, or it's going to all blow away next week? Um, I think in terms of, of the money, I would say I was pretty freaked. I, I'm pretty freaked that, I'm going to, that it's all going to go down the drain. But I'm not in terms of my talent or my creativity. Why must the money go down the drain? Well, because I guess because I don't really understand it. I don't re but you're I not really an exorbitant, uh, you're not... I, no, I, I, I'm just, I, do, I behave with money just the way my folks did, which is not to spend it. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I was brought up that way, and I'm trying to break out of it now, but uh, it's, I w I, I'd never had any training. In, in, I never took an accounting course. I can barely add. You know, I mean, and there are a lot of women who, can't, who have a trouble balancing a checkbook. I mean, basic things. 
And uh, when you come into money, you find that you have to really, you could better get yourself some, somebody to help you or you better go to school and find out how to do it. Because if you don't, you know, you're, it's not going to be there when you want it. So are there fewer peaks and valleys now? Uh, this year. Uh, saying they're not as deep, huh? That's right. But the peaks aren't as crazy either, huh? No. So no. you're really kind of a solid citizen type now. Solid or s solid? Solid citizen, you know what yeah. I mean? Centered. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You used of course, to I'm older too, you know. I mean, I'm grown up. I'm not. Did you used to crash big after disappointments or? Uh... Terribly, yeah. Did you ever have people yell at you from an audience or have you ever been rejected on the stage? Uh. Hmm, that's a hard one. Well, Actually, hard, I used to have... like that. I used to like that because that was like a challenge. Then I could go out there and beat them, you know, <laughs> and uh, make them love me, which is, a, uh, which is another kind of challenge. Yeah. After this standing ovation, and they won't let you go, and the, the, what a wonderful feeling that must be. You crash you, with euphoria in your dressing room, or are, is there a melancholy? Is it good? Uh, it depends on how, whether you like what you did or not. Oftentimes, people will stand. Uh, sometimes, it depends on the audience. You know, sometimes audiences are like sheep. Sometimes they're extremely intelligent. Sometimes they're, sometimes all the dummies in town got together on that one night. Tell me you know, about it. You know, oh. you know what I mean? So, oh. and, they, and they sort of have like and a... they're all a, chewing gum. Yeah. Mm. And, and they have like a feeling of their own. So if you respect them and you feel that you have done well, then you can be very high. You can be ecstatic over your evening. But if you think that they were sort of like, they feel like, well, they got to stand, they had to stand, then you think, ah, uh -huh, get me out of here. Are you, you know, right, like though, in your own evaluation of that? In other words, you're giving yourself a six, and the audience gave you a 10 ovation. Maybe um, the audience believes that you were a 10, and maybe you're, I don't that's, know. I, well, that's, I hate to say that's their problem, but. Uh, uh, you're, you know when you're, you know how, when you're a six. Yes, you do. And if even and when you know you're a six, even though they tell you a ten, you cannot fool yourself. And you mustn't fool yourself because that's what makes for a pompous performer. And if there's anything that'll kill you quicker, it's someone who thinks that it doesn't stink when it does. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you, how'd you get so smart about all this evaluation? Uh, I, I, it's an insulting question. You're very question. flattering. Don't flatter me. Don't please feel it. Um, All right. You're, that's true about pomposity, and uh, those people fall in a hurry. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to ask that, uh, seeing as you're so direct and you talk and speak whatever you want to say, have you ever said something to another girl like, I don't like what you're wearing, or I don't like what you, and have you lost any friends that way? Well, well, actually, I had, I, that's one of my major faults. One to, I, I, I actually tell people, I hate what you, I do that, I do that quite often, but fortunately, the people uh, to whom I have been so bloody rude are, are, are immensely kind and forgiving. <laughs> I'm, I am rude, I have been, but my father was like that, my father's a real old curmudgeon, and he just, he'll just lay you to filth, you know, and uh, I picked it up from him, never realizing that, uh, that it, was, it could be hurtful. Fortunately, I haven't really made anybody cry and run out of the room because they, they love me enough to realize that's just one of my character traits. I've been We're lucky. We're with Bette Midler and we'll be back in just a moment. That's Bette Midler, but you knew that. It's probably your favorite song. No. <laughs> <laughs> what I really want to ask yes, her, sir. not bragging, but I felt I was also quite in doubt, but I wanted to know when you had the guts to show it without being in modern. Without? Without being embarrassed or admonished? Right. Or, uh, excuse me, just a moment. Uh, in other words, here in this age of the mammary gland, is that what you mean? Well, I meant you know, you had it. Her up, you know, her up you brain, had it, but you didn't flaunt it. I was scared. <laughs> I admire you for it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. What? What? When? Yeah. When you know, not think it was immodest or... or I think after I left out. home. <laughs> <laughs> because when I left, but when I was at home, you had to wear several layers of clothing, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, you weren't allowed to wear makeup. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup or, or, or carry on in, in, uh, in that fashion at all. I guess it was just sort of a, a reaction against, uh, against home life. Was it just for shock? Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it wasn't. It was because uh, I looked better with it showing than I did without it showing. <laughs> You, uh, that's a terribly honest question you asked. Are you, you... Well, now it doesn't make much difference at my age. <laughs> well, not everyone would agree. Not everyone would agree. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I just want to know if you plan to make another movie in the future. Uh, thank you. It's like, you're like a plant. The movie is titled Divine Madness, yeah. and it is an uh, actual film of you in concert Yes. at more than one location, I assume. No, only one location. Yeah, well, uh, Pasadena. Um, the Pasadena Civic? Is this one of those marathon, uh, you know, you do? You've done four Oh, hours, my so. dear, yeah. That was a haul. It was a long haul. But they're gonna, fortunately, they're going to take the bad bits out. Uh, I want to share with you a, just a part of this movie, which I assume will be released soon, is... Uh, in September, I think. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit before you get to see Divine Madness, but for those of you who don't have Bette Midler working right around the corner, and you should, and it's too bad she isn't, because this is an evening. Uh, let me just show you uh, Bette Midler working on stage as from this film, Demi uh, Divine Madness. This is just a suggestion of her energy on stage. Roll tape. <laughs> going to commit myself. <laughs> it's loud, and it's obviously, t but it's, yeah. it's, inter it's entertainment with which you may not be familiar. No, but I like it. Do. I do. I really like well, it. Well, the movie's titled Divine Madness. I'd be happy to get you some comps. I'm sure we can work that out, all right? We're in Chicago with Bette Midler, and we'll be back in just a moment. I've been too long. Come on, must be something to, be oh. to make an audience jump through hoops like that. Oh, huh? all I said was sing, kids. Well, I can't believe they know it. It's so, it makes me feel so good. I can't, I, it's... You're schmaltzy then, huh? Ah, oh, yeah, I, I am. I, I'm, I'm weak in that area. <laughs> Sentimental. Uh, that must be a terribly powerful feeling to bring an audience it down is. and bring it up. It is. It is. It is. Yes. <laughs> 